Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you today about a new firework that's coming to the UK for 2024. Now this one's a bit unusual, in fact it's very unusual. Why? Because of how long it lasts. It lasts an incredible seven minutes. What? 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 That's right, a single firework that lasts seven minutes. Now this is really unusual. I've never seen anything quite this uh, long in terms of duration of a consumer firework in the UK. So let's talk about how that's even possible. So when you get a firework like this with multiple shots in a cake or a barrage is what we call this, this will typically last these sorts of fireworks anywhere between about 20 seconds up to about a minute. That's fine. And then we have something called compound fireworks. Huh? Now compound fireworks are when you get two or more fireworks and they're kind of joined together and um, fuse together. So you just have a single fuse to light and you get a longer lasting firework. No way. Why do we have compound fireworks? Well, it's actually to do with the laws about fireworks, consumer fireworks here in the UK. In the UK, a category F2 firework, which is a garden firework, can be up to 500 grams of net explosive content. A category F3, which is a display firework, still a consumer firework, but a display firework, can contain up to 1,000 grams or a kilogram of net explosive content. But there's a loophole in the law that allows manufacturers to make compound fireworks. So if you have two 500 gram F2 cakes, you can join them together in a compound, fuse them together. The consumer just lights one fuse. You've basically got a single firework that's got a thousand grams of net explosive content in. So with compound fireworks, if they're category F2, by making it into a compound, you can get up to two kilograms of net explosive content in a single firework. If it's a category F3 compound, you can get up to four kilograms of net explosive content essentially within one firework. So this new firework is a compound firework. It's made by quantum fireworks and it's called Magnificent 7. Normally compounds last around about a minute and a half, two minutes. You can get some compounds that last around three or four minutes, but this is the first time I've ever seen a compound last a whole seven minutes. Is it any good? I want to show you some footage of it. This isn't my footage. This is the footage from the manufacturer. This hasn't actually landed in the UK yet, so I've yet to see it with my own eyes, but this is the footage that the manufacturer's released. Let's have a look at it, and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of a firework that lasts this long. So this is Magnificent 7, new for 2024 from Quantum Fireworks. It's an F3 compound comprising of 478 shots from 20 and 25 millimeter tubes. It has a 1.4G classification, and whilst its NEC or net explosive content has yet to be published, it's likely to be very near the 4kg limit for an F3 compound. Whilst we let Magnificent 7 do its thing here in the background, I want to talk about some of the pros and cons of this firework. Firstly, the pros. A compound firework such as this offers convenience and simplicity. For those who don't want the hassle of setting up lots of fireworks and who just want a complete display in a box, this is going to be very appealing. And I can imagine plenty of people choosing this for their New Year's Eve displays. Another plus point is its price. Its RRP, that's recommended retail price, is expected to be just under £400. And so if that's the case, I'd expect retailers to be selling this for around about the £350 mark. Now, when I evaluate whether I think a firework is good value for money, I tend to look at a couple of factors. The cost per second and the cost per shot. Doing the sums of the expected RRP Magnificent 7 is expected to retail at, these work out at just under 95 pence per second and under 87 pence per shot. So actually, at the anticipated RRP, I think Magnificent 7 represents really good value for money. And so perhaps the most significant plus point for this firework is its incredible duration of 7 minutes. However, whilst that insanely long duration can be seen as a plus, I think it can also be seen as a negative too, and I'll explain why. Firstly, OK, so there's a bit of variety in the colours and effects in Magnificent 7, but really, after a couple of minutes of this, I think spectators would perhaps start to lose a bit of interest. 
From experience, I find audiences tend to enjoy shorter displays with good pace and good variety of effects over lengthy drawn out displays with little variety in them. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing particularly wrong with the effects in Magnificent Seven. There's just not enough variety there to hold my interest for a whole seven minutes. But I am led to believe though that Quantum are potentially tweaking the finale of Magnificent Seven to make it a bit different, so what you're looking at here may not be exactly the same as the final product when it lands here in the UK. As I mentioned earlier, the legal limit for a category F3 compound is 4 kilograms of explosive content. Whilst we don't yet know the amount of explosive content in Magnificent Seven as it's not been made public, it won't exceed 4 kilograms. And many other F3 compounds get very close to this same limit and yet perhaps last just 2 minutes. As a general rule, the more explosive content over a shorter period of time tends to give a better display. That said, I certainly can't fault Quantum for their innovation here. They've done incredibly well to produce a compound which lasts this long with a consistent pace given that 4kg explosive limit. But I can't really see this compound being used in many professional or electronically fired displays though. Why? Well, in a big show you are going to always get the odd item or two which doesn't fire. If that happens, typically the display operator will simply skip ahead to the next queue in the display. If a 7 minute long firework fails to ignite, or fails after its first row or two of shots, and the operator skips to the next queue, the net result is that the overall length of the display will be shortened by close to 7 minutes. That's quite a significant reduction in the overall length of the expected display. I mean it could halve a 15 minute display. But I now want to turn to my biggest concern over a firework with a duration as long as this, and that's safety. But I do want to stress that my comments here are not specifically in relation to Magnificent Seven from Quantum Fireworks, but instead are more general concerns I have with increasingly lengthy firework durations. So there's nothing inherently unsafe with long duration fireworks. Indeed, all consumer fireworks legally sold here within the UK have to pass strict safety and conformity tests before being allowed to go on sale. Where my concern arises is in the ability to stop a firework display in the event of an emergency or other safety concern. If like me you work in live events, you have to be prepared for something called a show stop. That's when you have to pause a live event mid-flow for reasons of safety. In a firework display setting, it may for instance be necessary to call a show stop if the wind were to abruptly change direction or strength, leading to smoke or debris drifting into the crowd. That's just one example, there are numerous safety scenarios when, even though thankfully they're rare, it may become necessary to stop a firework display prematurely. If you do have to prematurely halt a firework display, you then of course want all the fireworks to stop firing as quickly as possible. Realistically, that won't be instantaneous. You can't stop a firework midway through firing. And so if you have a small cake or barrage with a duration of say 30 seconds, and you fire that and then immediately have to stop your show, you're still going to have shots breaking in the sky for up to 30 seconds before the sky goes dark and the fireworks stop. Such a delay is unavoidable, but acceptable in most cases. However, imagine firing a 7 minute long compound and then having to halt the show within a minute or so of that firework igniting. You'll still have fireworks popping off in the sky for another 6 minutes. Again, I just want to reiterate, there is no inherent safety issue with the Magnificent 7 compound from Quantum Fireworks itself. Whilst I'm sure it'll be popular with consumers given its duration and price point, it's not a piece I will be using in any of my public displays solely because I wouldn't then be able to effectively bring the display to a stop within a reasonable time frame. So those are my thoughts, but I'd love to hear what you think of this new compound and on long duration fireworks more generally. So do let me know in the comments, and if you've enjoyed this video, why not consider subscribing to my channel for more firework content.